I'm like, well, he's got to watch some tape. It's like, EB, his iPad hours is 0.00. Zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. He, he, <laughs> zero. He truly didn't care. But if you do want to care about greatness, you could catch me in high school beating Menzel on Netflix because they actually had a couple clips of my team on there. But, you know, they only wanted to show Johnny's uh, plays where he did good. They didn't want to show us setting the state record for Texas, beating him like, uh, what is it, like 69 to like 50, something like 52. True. What's it, what, so, what college did he go to? What college did he go to? A&M. Okay, it so, was Johnny football and so if you didn't know the whole story about Johnny Menzel, he played in some like some little. Uh, he went from Kerrville Tyvee uh -huh. in high school to A and M to the Cleveland Browns. You know the A and M where he you know he balled out. He played he played crazy, but I really don't think even at A and M he was reading he was reading anything. He was just going out, throwing up, running the ball, basically playing backyard football, and then I guess he. In this whole documentary, he's talking about how he lost his love for the game, and he just like he just partied himself out, and to the point where like he just wanted to spend all his money up and just say f it. Yeah, it seems like he didn't really care anymore. He was all about the party life, and it seems like football never like it became unfun for him. It was and a job. Than it became quit, a job, really. Rather than quit, he literally just played until he kind of self sabotaged enough where he got kicked out the league. That's true. I mean, so he's like, I got my millions. His family was rich already, anyways. He came from a were rich they family. really rich, or was it a fake? Because they did say in the movie that you know they did make up some lies, and he came from like oil money. His family was rich. I mean, was, like, I think they were decent. decently rich. I don't think they're like you know like like oil tycoons or anything. But then, since he did end up working himself up in the uh, combine, he was a first round draft pick. So his first deal was for. You know, uh, like multi million dollars. True. So he he just didn't really care anymore. He was just balling out. And then you saw in the documentary, shout our boy Seth. We checked it out with him, that uh, he was doing all kinds of signings at uh, at A and M. He was making like, you know, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars every time he signed a room full of footballs. And this goes to show you, no matter what you do, you can be a. I tell everybody this all the time. You can be a star in high school. It always you can be a star in high school, a star in college, but once it's time to go to them pros, you turn out to be Tim Tebow. Man, this is crazy. Like this is up there. I don't know who's but he's not he's not a he's a bigger bust than Tim Tebow only because Tim Tebow beat the Steelers. The oh my god. And then his career ended right after that. He, that's all he had to he do. Had he one went on high play. note. He won two Heismans. And he beat the Johnny Steelers. Johnny Menzel won a Heisman. Johnny Menzel won a Heisman. Uh, I mean, he got drafted in the first round. What he wanted to do, I mean, you really can't do, do more than that. He got in pictures with Drake. He was celebrity. Isn't he playing in the XFL now? He was playing. In, he probably he still is playing in the XFL. Who knows if he took that seriously? He probably did. He's I probably mean, still just signing A and A and M gear. It's like as far as I remember, he was like went to the championship and game and lost his like freshman year, and his next couple seasons they didn't go that far. Like his next season, I don't. I think they did mediocre, and then their last season. In Curvio? They did no at A uh, and M. Oh yeah. The last season that he was at A and M, that they actually had like a mediocre record and didn't even get like a, uh, you know, get to compete for a national championship. Texas A and M, they ain't going. I mean, it is. He was just all. Ain't no hype. UT. He was all hype. If you didn't know, you know, he was known for his scrambling. He was basically like a Lamar Jackson. He was scrambling, throwing piss poor balls, interceptions, stuff like that. But. I really believe if he would have been picked by a better team than the Browns, he probably would have had a you know, better. It was probably career. when he lost to my team in high school. He was just like, <laughs> I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. They put they put seventy points on us. That's funny as hell. That's some real scoring right there. Hey, We're the Phoenix Suns of football. Hey, but if you want to watch this movie, it's on Netflix. They got a lot of more uh, sports documentaries coming. If you want to see me on the TV screen? It's not just on YouTube's. Check me out. Starring in Johnny Manziel's 